it's another brand new day and welcome to underground voices right here on cj tv and as far as i'm concerned this is the only tv show yes yes the one and only tv show in the country which gives opportunity for all emerging creative arts and i didn't say some i mean all emerging creative art talent in the industry ranging from musicians to bloggers mcs presenters makeup artists just name them i mean be in the entertainment industry and 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 uh, so i just want to know where you're watching me from are you at home are you at work are you in town where exactly you with your bestie and also so all. but we told the same wherever i told you to watch me from i want you to tell a friend and to tell a friend and to tell a friend that underground voices we are on we are showing right here on cj tv and guys today today i'm super 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 excited and i know already most of you are wondering why i'm super excited and i'll let you know yes i'll let you know but if I tell you anything about my excitement, let's go for a quick break. When you come back, I'm telling you everything you need to know about my excitement. My name is Mancha Kome, your Royal Highness, and I'll be right back. Welcome back, and you're still watching Underground Voices right here on CJ Television. Okay, so before the break, um, I told you when we come back, I'm telling you everything you need to know about my excitement. Of course, I'm telling you, but I know say me that you, the vibe day. What are brothers for the vibe day? So, of course, I'm telling you. So, the reason why I'm super, super excited, is, I'm not just excited, but super, super excited, is because I have my very first emerging creative art guest in the studios. Mm -hmm. Of course. And you know how the saying goes, dress how you want to be addressed. So, for instance, if you be pastor, like, you know, your seat for day on, your shoe for day on, your clerical, your Bible, very necessary, you know. And I want to know, what if you're a creative person too? What do you have to wear? What do you have to put on? Just relax, just chill, because my guest on the show has done absolutely justice to that. And guys, guys, I can't wait to introduce him. I know you also can't wait to see him. So without much ado, if you're ready, just like I'm ready, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our guest on the show, Jazz Sunny. Yeah, Welcome, much bro. Much Welcome. Much love, you're bro. looking so good. Thank you, brother. You're looking smart. As thank well, you, thank brother. you, thank you so much. And I like mm. your fashion sense. Yeah. You're looking so good. What what inspire your, your your dressing? Yeah, I guess I dress according to the day. Okay. Yeah, I don't deal in fashion. Okay. So I dress according to the day <laughs> and just match up the I day. I understand, I understand. Yeah, but brother. I want to know, do you have anybody you look up to in the fashion industry? Because yeah. if you ask me, for instance, I look up to KOD, I look up to KKD, I look up to Andy. So I want to know, do you also have anybody in the industry you look up to nah, when it comes to fashion? As I said, I don't really deal in fashion, so I dress according to how the day moves, and I guess I dress as smartly as I, I, I can. Most definitely. So I don't really have definitely. a fashionist who I look up okay. to. That day, yeah. Okay, okay, so. okay. I understand. Your name, Jason. Yeah. You know, for a minute when Jason was coming on the show, I was like, hey, Jason, you mean Because I was really <laughs> yeah. thinking aloud, you understand? So... I was just waiting for him just to ask him, what, why Jason, where did the name come from, and all that. So since you are here, I just want to hear it from the horse's own mat. I beg you, know yeah. be oh, oh, you know yeah, be horse. I just want to hear it from the horse's own mat. Why Jason? I don't know whether you are the second coming of Christ or something. Nah, no, not something to buy. Jason, as you already said, Yaminipa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jason. So the name is already depict who I am okay. and what my motives in the music industry stands mm -hmm. for. And you know when someone hear Jason, Nyaminipa, they expect the positives mm -hmm. from you more than the negatives. Exactly. So I think that exactly. name has an impact on me when my music, where my okay. writing skills and everything. Okay. So I think Jason is a good name for me in my all music right. platform. All right, most definitely. Know. I know so, when you hear about Jason, it's all about somebody who is very spiritual and who is, yeah, who is, who is also into music. Because I know about Javinci, I know about Jackie, and I know they're all reggae dancehall music because yeah. i believe you are not far from reggae dancehall nah i'm in the same column as them most reggae dancehall a little definitely. bit of afro beat yeah, okay yeah. okay yeah. but what what's your real name yeah my real name is isaac achibar taylor isaac achibar taylor. Taylor. taylor yeah okay. that's my real name are you a Ghanaian? yeah i'm a Ghanaian. what's <laughs> your Ghanaian name Achi, like yeah. isaac achibar yeah. taylor yeah. i'm a Ghanaian, which i hail from usu okay oh so that's, nice. that's nice yeah that's nice that's nice. All right. So, guys, we have Jason in the studios, and we are about to, to get a conversation going. So, Jason, yeah, what would you say the year has been for you from January to now? What would you say? Have you dropped any EP, any album, anything at all? What would you say it's been yeah. for you from January to now? 
EP not yet, but that's what I'm looking up to draw uh, within the year, maybe in the middle of the year or by the end of the year, my first EP should be okay. out by the year. I think the progress is still on, uh, catching up from where we left off in 2021. So I think it's, it's still everything is all right, okay now. All right, yeah. all right. And how long have you been in the industry? The music industry, yeah. If music wise, I guess I started singing back from when mm -hmm. I joined Freedom Center, that's okay. a community where okay. they used to play live band mm -hmm. here and there. So I started before, but my first main singer came out in 2013. Okay. So I think that's where I, I picked up from for 2013. 2013? So yeah, that's where I dropped my first single. Okay. She lost I. So yeah. 2013, let's say it's been like nine years already? Yeah, almost nine years down the lane. So it's been nine years, like you've had nine years in the industry? Yeah, nine years. Okay. Nine years, uh, okay. strong nine all years. All right, all right. So you can hear Jason say, yeah. it's been nine years already in the industry. Oh, yeah, then man. that means you have a lot of songs out there on the street and yeah, all that. I have about 22 songs out there. 22 yeah. songs? Yeah, 22 songs, I'll say. Guys, yeah. nine years with 22 songs. Yeah. My guy, um, you do some. Oh, yeah. You do some. Yeah. The work is big, but we still have to do it. So, yeah. tw within a, with the 22s, how many yeah. songs would you say it's making waves on the streets and all that? Yeah. On the waves, I can't quantify because, you know, some of Ghana, it takes a lot of things before you can okay. say, say hey, this is a big artist mm -hmm. now because you have to get your video, your song, you have to be on the airways here and there. But I guess I'm getting there because I've heard a couple of my songs on the airways here and there. And sometimes I go to places, I hear my song being played. Okay. Got people knowing mm -hmm. it is this guy. So I guess gradually I'm catching up and the song is, uh, is right. out there. All right. Yeah. I, I, was just, I was just happy you saying you have your songs out there playing. And people don't even know who is the person behind the songs. Yeah. And if you've heard any song and you have no idea who the person is, I think you have the person right here. But I don't know the song either too. So since it's here, I think a cappella will do for us to get to maybe we hear the song for somewhere, then we go see it. be where you do. Oh, you say what? Yeah. Uh, so just ask you there, yeah, they won't know some of the songs that you think it's out, out there that people don't even know. Yeah. You are responsible for those songs. A song like She Lost I has been out there, which usually Black Rasta even does play on this show okay. sometimes. Okay. My police that doesn't really know it belongs to me. Okay. And that song go like, she says she lost I. She I never want to fight. Okay. She wear me a smile when I'm even sad. I call her woman cause she understands a man. She say she lost sight. She I never want to fight. She wear me a smile when I'm even sad. I call her mama cause she understands a man. And I guess people have heard that okay, song. Okay, that's a, a nice song. Of, yeah. And I think that's a reggae vibe. Yeah, that's a, a reggae, a lot of rock song. Okay, which okay, I released okay. Back Is that your first song? Cause yeah, that was my first single. That was in 2013. Oh, okay. Which was produced by Zap Mallet. Yeah, legend, Zap Mallet. Yeah, the legend. Legendary Zap Mallet. Legendary Zap Mallet. That's where. Make up yourself, Zap Mallet, wherever you are. Of course, your son is here, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Meet his daddy wherever you are. So, be so, be so, be so. So, Jason, how long have you been like? How long? How long has it been for you? Like since you started doing the music? Yeah, from when I recorded my first single mm -hmm. up to now, I say that I've been solid nine years. We've been in the industry. Mm -hmm. Solid not back years. down. But, yeah. So when did you realize, like, at which age did you realize this is what you are called to do? Maybe some people do say, I was called to do music when I was nine years. I was called to do music when I was in my mom's room. And I'm just wondering, hey, no matter if it's day, how you go feel can do music. <laughs> yeah. So I want to know from your end, yeah. when did you realize this is what you are called to do? This is what you want to do? Yeah, I guess when I started shouting in the bathroom, that's okay. why I started to pick up the music seriously. Because whenever I entered the bathroom, I was a different person okay. altogether. I said that there's something was flowing within me. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go, okay, let me have a glimpse of what I wanted to do. Okay. So I started from playing live band, picked up a guitar where I was playing live band here and there, and then learned the uh, rudiment and the fundamentals of the music. Okay. So I did a little bit of sound engineering here and there before right. I entered the music fully. So okay. when I get, came into the music, I had a bigger ba background of live band here and there. Okay. I entered the music. So okay. I say 2013 there, I entered the music after singing for a mm -hmm. lot of years in the bathroom. Okay. I finally came out into the limelight. Some yeah, people, then. then they call them for room inside, like, of course, you're Isaac. Yeah, my Isaac. Why are you calling from <laughs> the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, my Isaac, my calling came okay. from the Okay, bathroom. people, they get them, are calling from <laughs> church, then room, sitting yeah, man. in the bathroom. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. okay. Yeah, man. I want to know, like, I hear most um, musicians say you have to know, know how to play an instrument. What does it add to you as a musician? Knowing how to play an instrument. What value does it add to you as yeah. a musician? I think is it 
very necessary for a musician to know how to play music. It wouldn't be, it I mean, it wouldn't instrument. be necessary. That's why I guess that's why we have instrumentalists, people who are also good in the instrumental. Mm -hmm. But if you are the uh, you say by grace you can cut across maybe play the instrument and sing it's a bonus and okay. a plus to you and you being an artist and playing the instrument mm -hmm. it adds up to your understanding of your music because right. you know the key when to be enter when to pause here and there so i think uh, uh, being able to play instruments are an addition but that's not a necessity for you to be in the music industry because there are a lot of people who are good with okay. voice but they can't play the instrument okay so i think that shouldn't be a but it's just a bonus for you if you can do okay. the additional. So I guess All right. being good with the instrument right. also helps. Right. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so um, if you're watching us at home, at work, anywhere at all, I still have Jason in the building, in the building. And we are still talking about um, entertainment, about um, his music and everything. If you'd like to be on the show, this is what you have to do. Can you pick the number on your screen, WhatsApp me your name, your location, and what you do as a creative guest. Please do not call the number. What happened, your name, your location, and what you do as a creative guest, and me and myself, I'll just, you know, get to you. Please do not call the number. Still, I'm still talking to Jason. Yeah, man. Jason, I'm really they like the vibe. I'm really they like your vibe. Yeah, so, I, I want to know, I want to know, apart from music, what else do you do? Yeah. Are you a banker or a professional yeah. footballer or what apart from music? Yeah. Okay. So I'm a computer technician by profession. Okay. That's what I usually do okay. when I'm aside from the music. And I also have a studio, which I uh, mentioned out okay. earlier. So when I'm not in the studio or on the computer field, I'm in the music. And when I'm not in the music, I'm in the computer room just fixing up some computers. All right. Yeah, All right. brother. So uh, from what you said, you, are, you said you went to a computer school. And yeah, I did computer you have networking. So yeah. I want to ask, are you trying to take the works of the engineers or the producers away from them since you are learning how to produce music I try no, to learn. i'm rather trying to help out there because there are brothers who are there who have also studied the sound engineering mm -hmm. whereby they don't have the studios okay. whereby so if there's a studio there where you can bring a brother to work okay. so i can also help you know, also you produce, uh, producing more songs i think it's a hand in hand so i say fifteen, not me taking over all because right. i can't do all all right yeah all brother. right all right we still have jason in the building but guys uh, guys jason is not going away we are going for a short break when we come back we still get to talk to Jazz and more. Don't go anywhere. You're still watching Underground Voices. My name is Mancha Komi. Yeah. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back, and you're still watching Underground Voices right here on CJ TV. And in the studios, I have Jazz and yeah, Jazz and Unity, most definitely. And as I rightly said, if you'd like to be interviewed right on the show. This is what you have to do. Pick the number on your screen. I mean, the number on your screen. What up me your name, your location, and what you do as a creative person. And who knows, you'll be the next person being interviewed right here on the show. And you can equally follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter, at Underground Voices. And we missed out on this very interview. You can check it out on our YouTube channel. As I rightly said, I still have Jason in the building, and we're getting to know him more and more and more. So, Jason, back to you. Hey, brother. I want to know, this is a question that I most often ask, um, imagine ask when I meet them. Because I hear some acts saying, and we are not being supported in the industry, and we even send our songs to the A-list artists, and they are not even supporting us. I want to know, what are some of the challenges you personally you are facing in the industry as an emerging art? Okay, I guess this two, two in one question. Okay. First, I say, as an underground artist, mm -hmm. it's a bit hard getting your song being played on the airways or on the television here and there. Because sometimes the money required just for you to have your song video played on the airways for just okay. a month is even so huge, you can make a career out mm -hmm. of it. So I guess as underground artists, if we have the means whereby we can have our songs being played on the airways, okay. maybe or we have a video here one or two, then without a financial asset being huge on our side, mm -hmm. the bedding, if the bedding sees down a little, I think that would be far better. Okay. And you know, as an underground artist, you hardly get a manager to support you okay. until you come true, into the mail or you get true, a song true. which blows out there before somebody will come on board. Mm -hmm. And I guess on the other side too, you asked about the A list artists. Yeah, we've been contacting them. Some you contact them, they'll give you the nod. Oh, I'll help you. Just bring your song here. I'll help. And that, that's the end. Some they will take the song and you don't even hear from them. Okay. You call them, they will pick. It will not even answer your okay. call. So it's it, it be a tedious river. That doesn't like, deter us. 
we have a, a exactly. tough mentality exactly. of making it out there exactly. because they also made it from the underground. Mm -hmm. So we have a firm belief that where we, with or without their help, we have to make it. So we, we've been pushing. Okay. Yeah. It's been, okay. It's been hard we can come in this far. I understand. I understand. Pushing, I understand. Yeah. So we are back. If you be the earliest artist where they watch, if I not say the underground act like myself, like Jason, we all need you people to support yeah. us. Of course. But have you tried any A-list artists which yeah, backfired or they didn't really I've work? had a couple of, I don't want to mention names. Oh, information. Oh, 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 no. no. CJ TV, <laughs> underground voices here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you come, oh, who knows? There's an yeah. investor, there's an, one A-list artist who even like to collaborate with you. So just mention, just, you know. No, uh, the reason why I usually don't want to mention their names is like, you haven't paid them. Mm -hmm. You know this uh, is uh, like a business. Okay. So okay. when maybe you have paid them and they have not done their work, mm -hmm. you can really take them on and say, hey, either you have paid this, you didn't know. But when maybe they are doing it for you out of willingness, okay. and when they fail, you can't really pick out on them because exactly. they are set up to help exactly. you. And they say, okay, let them Or maybe one thing or the other is holding them back. Okay. So I don't usually hold grudge about it. Or, but I can mention them and without any uh, <laughs> heart feeling. Of course, of course. Me, I, want I to guess do one at who. I really wanted to work with, which everything didn't go well was Famille. Famille? Yeah. Nothing I, a, I get. Nothing I get. Nothing I oh, get. Famille. Nothing, nothing your man give me. Oh. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> you don't give me anything. Your man don't give you. Not even a hook or a line. Oh, nothing I so, get. So what, what happened? What happened between yeah. you and Famille? When I, we got, I, I, uh, my guy contacted him. Okay. He gave me the note to bring my phone and some phone. But I guess, I maybe I didn't. Uh, uh, send the song to him maybe in the nearest time as he expected. Okay. I took some time because you know underground artists recording songs here and there is even hard for us. So I think I delayed a little bit. But finally when everything worked out and I sent it to him, he acknowledged receiving it okay. and he promised to work on it. All right. But nothing came out. Okay. I made a follow-up contact and say, oh bro, may I have my Nothing came out. Okay. And the, so, the, so the song was in the studio for almost about a year. Okay. And so I felt like, no, come on, you can't be waiting for one person for just a year. So you just have to record and okay. just put it out I there. I want to so know, is it a reggae tune? Is it a no, reggae song? No, it's an Afro song. It's a little Afro song. It's called Meblo. 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 Yeah. Can you Not, give me a freestyle of yeah, Meblo? It goes like, Na 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 mi a ye bio, suwa ke bio, enti fa ka huma ye ne, so fo bi a kache mi se, Make a hold up, oh. But near my bay, yeah, yeah. so I can't do that. I was a man, yeah. Now, Miss Mabelo, oh, Mabelo, a radio, boy, me, eh, eh, eh. Now, me, who, now, me, yeah. I can't do that. I was a man, yeah. Now, Miss Mabelo, Mabelo, yeah. A radio, boy, me, eh, eh, eh. Now, me, who, now, me, yeah. Okay, so that was a song for a little bit, but all right, yeah. Oh, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just as we are sending a song, we're 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 sending a what yeah. do you have to say about that? Because reggae music, uh, do you think? I guess you have the audience. I guess we the reggae dancehall artists are to be blaming a part. Okay. Because we've not stood out for what we believe in. Okay. You see a reggae dancehall artist coming out with a dancehall song and say, okay, the song will blow, and the next time you will be seeing him, he will be singing Afro or Dido. So it, it seems like we don't even believe in the genre. We do ourselves. Okay. We don't hold it for because people will tell you, hey, reggae that, that is selling in Ghana. Okay. Regular, that's what they're Ghana, then yeah, style. Then you also take it aside, then you start, you switch. So, mm -hmm. where comes the help if you're for the regular? But if we could stand up for and say, hey, this is the category we want to, mm -hmm. this is what we demand. Because I remember just a couple of years ago, Raskuku okay. won the uh, Ghana artist of the yeah. year. That was the last year. Yeah. So, take that if you are too up for reggae. And he had uh, released more reggae songs, mm -hmm. contemporary reggae, Ghanaian reggae. That was reggae dancehall at eighty one last yeah. year. Yeah, but let me say, apart from after the award, can you uh, give me one or two songs which Kuku released, which was in line with the reggae at the reggae songs which he won the category with? No, I think he yeah, has released a couple of songs. But if you be honest. They are kind of, have kind of reggae okay. differs from the reggae that we all usually talk about. Because I remember when I recorded the song She Lost Eye mm -hmm. and reggae music, Black Rasta 
said, no, this song is like a Jamaican song. Okay. Based on the, the song, the, the video and everything I have to. So if an underground artist song could be compared to a reggae mm -hmm. song, how about the A-list artist doing a main reggae song like this? I, I, I will see the Fanta Moja, then the Fanta Moja. others, and yes. the Jack. Yes. But artists always believe in switching and doing what the All people right. are believing in. Mm -hmm. I guess that's so we have to tighten our things okay. up. Then we can pick up from there. Okay. And people will come on board to support. All right. So, guys, I want us to go watch um, a music video from Jason. And what's, what's the name again? Yeah, she lost again. She, she lost her. So, yeah. I want us to watch a music video from Jazz and we'll yeah, come back, we'll talk about it. Produced by Legendary Zabmalet. Produced by Legendary Zabmalet. Would you yeah. like to introduce your song yourself? Oh, no, do that. Ah. You do that best for me. Obiani <laughs> Nejuma, <laughs> Obiani Nejuma. <laughs> so, guys, let's go watch a music video from Jazz and he calls it She Loves Sai, produced by Zabmalet. And who, who, who made the video? The video was shot on Spartan. Spartan. Okay, yeah. so let's. No. I guess this is Tua Baby. Oh, guys, yes. I think that's Tua Baby <laughs> on the background. Can we please yes, Tua Baby on the background. Time, sight. Yeah, man. I guess uh, it All was right. shot by uh, Spartan. Spartan. Produced by Zap Malek. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's okay. the video. She All right, so that's the, the video of um, She Lost Sight, produced by Zap Malek. When I'm even inside, call them woman and you never wrong. Tell me why we prolong. Hello, is divine. I want to keep feeling. She's so strong, she takes my soul down every day. This why I really love it. And she says she loves me too. She says she loves I. She I never want to fight. She went yes, my when I'm inside. I call her woman, cause she understands a man. She says she loves I. She I never want to fight. She went yes, my when I'm in inside. Only a woman, cause she man. Exceptionality is a quality. She a never wrong about her feeling. She gives her healing when my heart is bleeding. From my mind, me can sight a smile. She adores me when I'm down. My love is a crown. She a never frown. Many men want to be a man. And a coconut tree, we find shelter. We don't, we don't run, sir. She a never bother. She make me blind, but I want to be my baby. She keeps my stress away. Never want to fight. She wear me. A... All right, mm -hmm. all right. So that was just Sans video. She yeah. loves I. I thought you were like she lost side. Yeah, she she, she loves I. Yeah. Okay, okay. She say she loves I. She she says she loves I. She I never want to fight. Okay. She wear me a smile when I'm even sad. Okay. I call her woman cause she understands a man. Okay. She says she loves I. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a nice piece of yeah. song. And I really like the video. You said who shot the video? Yeah, this was shot by Spartan. Spartan. Yeah, Where is Spartan. he? Spartan. Yeah, it's been a couple of years I heard from my man's father, okay. but I guess it's out there right. just working right. this out. And you are like, the song, it's been nine years? Yeah, it's been nine years since I recorded this song. Oh, that's and it's amazing. still making me waves wherever it plays. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, I just like the picture. I just like the picture quality. Mm -hmm. Why did you shoot the video? Yeah, that was in Kukro Biti. Kukro Biti? Yeah, Kukro Bait. Uh, yeah. My Rasta, they enjoy you. <laughs> oh. Rasta, see... Nice empress payment. Rasta see nice money. empress way they she take money. <laughs> they Rasta, sure take money. Oh, you should this one this <laughs> as you say after this video there will be, be party after party. No, oh, after this video, no, she fly away. Hey, she gets away. Oh, you hear guys? She's like that. she fly that way. She that means she be foreign her mother. No, oh, oh. she she said movie has stretch and I think she's now with, uh, let me say, one of the television stations. All right. Yeah, all she's right, working with one right, of the television all right, stations all right, now. All right. Yeah. So, guys, I still have Jason in the building, and we are still talking about his music and everything it has to do with it. So, Jason, I want to know, like, who, which people be your target audience? Which people do you see to inspire the youth or the old age? Which people are target audience? Yeah. I guess the content of my music makes it cut across. Okay. Because usually, you know, there are some words which doesn't go down well with the, the, the airwaves and okay. there, there. But I make sure I uh, sacrifice my music in a way that it can cut across mm -hmm. all the ages. So I don't have a targeted, but I get the middle class and the elderly and a little bit of the upcoming youth all can listen and enjoy my songs. Okay. So I don't usually put up an uh, age limit based on my song, but I just make a song that to cut across which everyone can enjoy wherever they find themselves. All right, yeah. all right, all right. And I, I want to know, if you have the chance to collaborate with any artist, whether dead or alive, who would that person be? And I want to yeah. know why it, that person too. If it was dead, okay. that would have been perfectly ebony. 
Ebony. Yeah, because okay. I had a very, very big Mami work. Show. Right? Mami, Mami Show. Yeah. Okay, I wanted nice. to make nice. yeah, something. And then in currently, the girl I would like to work with, Ethia, A A F A Y. Ethia. Yeah, Ethia. Hey, but Rasta, yeah. why Rasta they choose the girls? Girls, you know, they no. choose the, the, the male artist. Why? Do you have any? It depends on the kind of music I want to But you never mentioned, say, one, one work plus any but male artist. My contact from here, you know, help me. I mentioned earlier. Okay. So, so that's and the even reason why... Kukura, Kukura, you know, even help me. So, so that's the reason why I won't move to the lady. The maybe ladies. They, they have a tendency for helping. So maybe okay. they will do their Okay, uh, okay, way. okay. Yeah. So, EFYA, Jason is here. He said he's looking up to you for a collaboration. So, in it. I've been chasing her. I think she can't wish to watch. I've been chasing her around this time, but nothing to... So I guess now she's <laughs> she's watching me. She okay. can. I know, me. I know. Of course, I know yeah. if you're watching. I've been cheating her, so she can check up her. I know if you're watching because this show is the most watched show yeah. in the country. Trust me, Underground Voices is the most watched show in the country. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Family never helped. I beg. Um, if you are, if you today for link up plus. Link up. Jason, link up. Jason, say in there you won't have some nice, some nice. Some, some lovers rock thing. You see, you see love how they sing. Okay, yeah, I see. Yes, so we're working on some lovers rock thing. Okay. We'll see how it. All right, all right, all right. And as I rightly said from the start, if you'd like to be interviewed here, right on the show, this is what you have to do. Pick the numbers on your screen, WhatsApp me where, your location, your name, and what you do as a creative person. And I'll, personal, and I'll personally link you up and bring you here for an interview. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Underground Voices. If you're, not, if you're not able to watch all the music, all the videos, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. We are going for a quick break. When we come back, we have the last conversation and we'll be out of here. Still in the studios with Jason and watch underground voices. We'll be right back. Welcome back, and you're still watching underground voices right here on CJ Television. My name is Manchakome, Your Royal Highness. In the studios, as I said, I have Inity Jason, Jason Inity. And he's, he has explained his name. I was Earlier on, wondering about the name Jason in it, and I think he has explained it. He said it has to do with purity and, uh, and what? Consciousness, of course. Yeah. Rasta there for no say. Consciousness day. That one there. That one there. So, so, so Jason. I need Jason. I need Jason. I need Jason. What does it mean? Like. Yeah. I and I, Jason. Okay. I, I and I, Jason. So I and I, all right. Jason. All right. I need but Jason. I, have, I, have, I have this question that. I, okay. So I, I most often ask imagine acts. Uh, I most often ask imagine that, which is, um, do you, do you, uh, like, <laughs> so I have this question that I do, I do ask imagine act. Do you think imagine act like yourself should be paid, do you think imagine act like yourself should be paid when caught for a show or giving a gig? Just like the A-list artists, they'll be giving 30,000 yeah. and all that. Do you think you should also be paid or yeah. when caught pay, for a gig or a show? I guess pay, payment comes when someone works. So, suppose maybe an underground artist, I come on board and you are a, a, maybe a program organizer or you have a show. Okay. And I come on board and I say, oh, I want to have a, I want to uh, uh, take part in your show. I want to do, uh, just get myself an exposure. I don't think with such an I think you can pay me okay. because I came on board. But when I'm being contacted mm -hmm. to come and the perform that means my service is being needed okay so if i'll not even be paid like an italy or i'll not be paid like an italy at least at least i guess something for transport here yeah, by or something for you because as i'll be coming i'll surely be dressing exactly i'll surely be so exactly. something's for you just on your way i mm -hmm. think that would be a motivation but sometimes you have to track some, i remember I've, I've gone to a couple of show crop or do here okay. and there without nothing okay you sometimes have to travel in the night return in the midnight or in the name of just okay. uh, making yourself okay. famous one day so maybe a little enticement for you or oh, take this as a lorry fare or okay. yeah and there's something small i think that would be an, uh, uh, an advantage to the okay. outcome we can have okay. something but right. payment i guess payment will come when you are fully on board and they fully think oh, we can't go for this guy services without paying mm -hmm. i guess that place nobody can deny you what you deserve okay. but as an upcoming we have to sacrifice mm -hmm. and sometimes i guess the organizers also have to look at where we are coming from and say oh, okay i know i can't pay you but I just take this little thing and All manage right. on your own All so right. i guess if they fit in we will have to sacrifice and also be helped on the okay. way okay yeah. okay i want do people show you at all do people yeah. say things about you maybe you know, sometimes you just post a picture yeah with all your knowledge you just post it just for fun and you see some people coming on social media just 
backlashing you, just saying all sort of things to you and all that. What? Yeah. Do you, do you normally I've, get that? I've seen people, I've seen people encounter such things, but okay. fortun I'll say fortunately for me, mm. I've not encountered such things yet. Okay. And I think basically it depends on the things I've been posting on my channels okay. here and there. I make sure I don't really get myself into the book. Because you know, there are people out there always waiting to pick on you exactly. or the least thing exactly. you do. So I guess in my delivery and my things that I post on my website, I yeah. just make sure I don't give people the chance to talk. Right. But when it comes, fair enough, it's part of the job. Since we are in the limelight exactly. working, it's part of the job. Mm -hmm. You just have to focus and just psych yourself okay. up. And you see it as an advantage or disadvantage, depending Most on where you are coming from. So I think that's not so bad, depending if you can really take advantages of it and use a mm -hmm. trend with it. Mm -hmm. So I guess I haven't had such a bad experience with it yet. Okay. But it's not so bad. All yeah. right. But since you started, have you had anybody saying anything bad about you, like, oh, this Rastaman, the song, the you know, they can't go anywhere? Or what, do you, what are some of the things you felt about your song or your personality? Yeah, I guess I would say. The first two years of my uh, career was a little bit challenging, mm -hmm. getting yourself, because I, as I mentioned earlier, Black Rasta have been playing a couple of my okay. songs. But before this thing... Big, big shout out going out to Black Rasta. And then I, big, I, uh, uh, then I say, if Big shout out good, he was the same person who told me, hey, your song can be played on the ra radio. Oh, Black Rasta, Black, one <laughs> one. So Rasta that's, so, one. that's why I said it's 50-50. Today okay. to be positive, tomorrow to be negative. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you to psych yourself up. And just it was, I guess maybe he also, he also had something which was in okay. to him. So I can't be grudging for saying that, but I get that motivated me to deliver to more. more. And uh, after that, I'd send my song to him again. And the next song, he said, Oh, big up, this one is really nice. So I guess you just have to pick it from there. So it wasn't really bad. I had it was just, it was just lamenting about what he felt about mm -hmm. the song because. Mm -hmm. The other, the others heard the same song and say, "Wow, okay. this is a good song." Okay. So if someone comes and say this is a bad song, that shouldn't be bad because it can't be positive always. So I All guess right. that will always motivate. But we do hear okay. set comments that oh, this song, there, oh, this song, there, but mm -hmm. it's part of the job. Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. psych yourself up and just do right. deliver more. I want to know if you have the chance to change anything at all in the industry to suit um, the emerging act or the upcoming act. What would that, what would that one thing be? If you have the opportunity. To change anything at all in the industry to help the upcoming artists, what would that one thing be? Uh, I would think influence of in the managers and producers into the industry will really help because okay. right now there are many people out there. But even recording a single song is very hard. Okay. Because I being an artist, I've had fellow artists contacting me and saying, "Please, can you help me with uh, to, uh, to record this song?" I go, "But hey, myself." At the tire, so, <laughs> I see that thing, I so see that thing. if the industry could have maybe we have a, a industry studio mm -hmm. whereby be, maybe a big theater where we have a stage where uh, artists will uh, stage will be given to upcoming underground artists okay. to exhibit themselves, and then a whole lot of maybe managers will be around. My to pick from you don't talk about building a whole theater for underground artists. Oh, but that should even the early artists they are no, not build some give them because no, even as an industry, the that, minister, the, um, the deputy said, minister, Kroko was that, saying. That's why you said what uh, if I had a chance okay. of changing things. Okay. So for my perspective, all right, all right. Yeah, for my perspective, okay. I think because every industry, at least the finance uh, ministry, have a uh, uh, office. Exactly. Everything. So at exactly. least the creative act, if we have a theater solely for the music, whereby the charges wouldn't be like hiring the conference center here and okay. there, whereby shows can be going on for underground artists to get okay. their platform to showcase. Okay. I guess more managers also come on board, pick from there and help them. But I, for now, it will be good by good by. You just go and hold <laughs> it out and you, you, you take it to the studio. If the song doesn't hit, you just go back Bam. and you package yourself again. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Uh, the industry needs more influence of uh, the theaters, the managers. Uh, so I guess the whole thing that they have to sit down mm -hmm. and contemplate on what to do to push the industry forward. Because we really need the uh, help. Really okay, okay, that'll be fine. Yeah. That'd be so I beg Deputy Minister, just answer, Mr. Mr. Okrukumante, just yeah, answer. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's yeah, the I, Deputy Minister. Do yeah. you have anything to say to him? Oh, the boss man has been complaining okay. since the started of the industry okay now he's there okay so this is the best opportunity for him 
to do something and leave okay. a legacy behind. For one way, the, the artist, art coming artist will say, oh, when Okreku Mante was there, he left honorable, this legacy. Please, honorable. 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 Okreku Mante was there. He left this legacy behind okay. for the upcoming artist. And we okay. can all mention his name maybe one day after he's gone. But for now, we really need help. All right. Yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I know um, Mr. Okreku, Okreku Mante. Yeah. I mean, Honorable is a good listener and I know yeah. he's listening to us. And this show is the most watched um, um, imagine yeah, show in the country, trust right. me, and I know he's watching. He's watching it. Just I want to know you're on social media. Yeah. And can we have your handles? Yeah, it's I need Jason. Okay. Cutting across Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even on audio mark. It's just okay. I need Jason. I and I. Mm -hmm. Then Jason. J A H S O N. You just type and I need Jason. I need Jason. Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Twitter, Facebook. Audio mark, Audio mark, even on iTunes, in there, so it just cut across. Okay, so I was even about asking, where do we get to stream your song, download your song? Yeah, I have uh, most of my songs on Audio Mark. Okay. Then almost, I would say almost all my songs are on SoundCloud. Okay. Then you find a bit of the videos there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by in a couple, one or two or three on iTunes. There, but then Spotify. So, but if you want to have a main all of my songs, then either uh, SoundCloud or Audio Mark. They'll all give right, you all of my all songs. Right, right. So, here. guys, I beg, make sure you try and download and stream jazz and so. Yeah, if you do that, that be when you go get something small and take support in music career. I beg, and you can yeah. also follow him as he rightly said, in jazz on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Right? Yeah. Just type I N I J A H S O N. I need jazz on. Most definitely. And be the most first to pop up anywhere you just type. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you're still watching Underground Voices right here on CJ TV. In the building, I have jazz on. Jason, yeah, I beg the freestyle the the one there. You be like <laughs> I hear voices say you know reach them. So the freestyle there for boss up again. I want to know, do you have any projects coming up or anything at all? Yeah, as I said earlier, this year I've marked it to release my EP. Okay, your EP. by the end of the year, God willing, my EP has to be out. Okay. So I'm currently recording them, but maybe in a couple of months or a month time, I'll be releasing another single okay. titled Shika. Shika. Yeah, that will be our. Which is man, basically. Yeah, Shika. Okay. Yeah, that's but, it. So, what's the name of the EP you'll be releasing? The it? EP, the EP name is not even ready yet. Okay. Because the songs on the EP is not even ready. All right. Something as I, I, I told you, music sometimes is feeling and grooving. Okay. So when you enter and everything is made. Something will pass when you say, okay, then now, let, okay. let's give this name to mm -hmm. our ba baby. Mm -hmm. So right now that the baby is not, I don't want to be right. giving name. It could be male, it could be female. Okay, so I, I don't understand. Want to give, I know. Yeah, so I just have to. It could also on. be twins. It could also be triplets. Twins. Triplets. 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 Who knows? Who knows? So let Nobody guess. knows. So whether the package is done, <laughs> okay. just release the, 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 the name and everything. All right. And I guess it will be right. the first, because underground, uh, voices. voices we are here, of course, of course. Of course. That's what we do. We are here to support. So We are here to be with all emerging acts. Because on a road, this be the only TV show. The in real, the whole of real, Ghana, for real. we give opportunities to makeup artists, models, anybody at all. I mean, musicians, actors, everybody. Yes, yeah. we are we are into support most yeah. definitely. Jason, so uh, what what so so if so as, she can, yeah she can't be can, coming out maybe in a month time or okay. So yeah. with your with your EP, how many songs do you have on it? Yeah, I have I have tabled up eight songs for this EP. EP yeah. eight songs. Yeah. Why don't you double up to be uh, an album? Cause I just two songs to and just make it, it time it, for it, it to be become long. an album. So let the, let the, my people enjoy. Okay. So I want to give eight eight songs for the EP. Then I uh, package myself and bring the okay. uh, main album later. So okay. I just want to. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. So, uh, what 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 do you have to say to any emerging acts watching you out there? Anybody who who also want to be like? Though you are an emerging act, I know there are some people who still want to become like you, what do you have to say to them, those watching at home anywhere at all? Yeah, I guess those who want to come into the music, first of all, they should toughen themselves up. Okay. You may bring one song out, you may blow, and that will be it for you. Mm -hmm. you, may really, you may release over 20, 30 songs, and you'll still be releasing. So just have the patience, keep doing your work, mm -hmm. and believe in one day it will pay out okay so the industry is a, a very very big if, I, if uh, sometimes you meet all sorts of people some will tell you oh let's go here let's go here but you have to know that if that place going and coming back was easier many okay. people have gone all right so you just have all to right. toughen yourself up if you want to follow the music just mm -hmm. know that this and uh, let the fundamental and the remains of the in the industry know this uh, respect everybody exactly. careless of what they bring on your exactly. way because the people you meet on your way up are the same people you Both. meet on your way down exactly. so just toughen yourself up 
tell yourself this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And the, I always say, give yourself up to learning. Never cease to learn. Exactly. Always exactly. Yeah, give always yourself up. Always be learning. Always be even when they are telling when they, they are telling you what you are doing is wrong. Just ask them, what can I do to make it right? Exactly. Just learn on the board and just upgrade yourself. Exactly. Always be upgrading because I didn't start from here, mm -hmm. but I upgraded myself till I even went to sound engineer and did all those things. And today I'm here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I guess the outcome, you just mm -hmm. have to toughen yourself and work it out there. You can all get right. there right. if you really want to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just I, I want to, I can hear voices. See yeah, all sort of things to can, me. She can, she can, yeah, she, she can. can. I mean, she I can, can hear voices asking me all sort of questions to ask you. Yeah. And I know this one is a personal question. An angel is asking me, or maybe somebody is asking me to ask you, are you married? Nah. Do you have a fiancé nah. or something? I'm in a relationship. That's okay, why, Rasta, you're yeah. done. No, Rasta said the relationship <laughs> is, I think so. Yeah, so well. I beg, <laughs> if, you already, if, you, if, you, if you want to send any application, we are beg. You have an application. No? Oh, Rasta no, I said I'm in a relationship. Hey, I mean, if I you're relationship, I'm married. Yeah, you're like, hey, Rasta. Oh, <laughs> so that yeah, means that. application can still come in. So what about if my woman say make you do make make uh, make make you separate? That one, that one, they are no no. That yeah, one, man. So I'm in a relationship. So I say you can still have until further notice. Until further notice. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm in a relationship. All right, yeah, that's nice. That's better. Yeah, nice. Rasta yeah. say in a relationship. Yeah, inside. That, so still an application yeah, will come. That, that, I'm a girlfriend. Nice girlfriend. I'm making no ball. <laughs> making no ball. Yeah. Just I want to know what do you see yourself like five years from now? What do you want to see yourself? Yeah. Or maybe two, three, five years from now? Five years from now, I want to see myself up there, maybe in the international world, playing live band and giving okay. them out Ghana music. Exactly. Not miming, but having a whole, maybe a whole stage in front of you, people watching you and you giving, giving them what you have from your exactly. country. Exactly. So I'm looking out for, for a better future in the next five years. Exactly. Maybe you have better, better things and maybe we will, be, we will also be bringing more artists since the studio is now set up. Maybe we will exactly. be helping more other Ghana artists who also need help to come into influence them into the industry. Exactly. So for five years from now, I want to see myself in the international stream if everything goes well. All right, God all right, that's yeah. nice. I just want to ask you this for last. We are wrapping up. We are wrapping okay, up. So brother. I just want to ask you this for last. We are about having a um, VGME. Yeah. Right. We had a um, Toy Music Award no longer ago. Yeah. And we are about to have a VGME. Who would you tip to be um, the artist of the year? For this year, VGME. Artist of the year. And who are you tipping to be the artist of the year? We are the nominees. I think we have um, Kiddy there, we have Sarko there, we have Kwame Eugene, we have um, Joe Metal, we have um, yeah, Stone Boy, yes. And it's the uh, Black Sheriff in. No, 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 we don't have Black Sheriff in. But I guess. You also want to protest for Black Sheriff? They have, he, he has kept the Ghanaian boys in the youth groove. If you could be, you could be honest to yourself, from first sermon to second sermon. So if you want to encourage the upcoming artists and the people, I think this is a big of an encouragement to them because we know the sack audience, okay. what they can deliver. We know the stone boys, what they can deliver. Okay. But when you give a such opportunity to an upcoming new artist, it motivates those who are down there to mm -hmm. see that, hey, it will put on a baby, and they say, it's your better Okay. So because for me, if you will be honest, I've enjoyed uh, Black Sheriff's song throughout the okay. year, more than anybody's okay. song. So if I'll be rooting for him, so I guess uh, good luck to all those who are there, but my favorite artist is not there yet, so. Oh, uh, so your favorite is Black Sheriff? I'll give it to any day, any time, because he deserves it. All right, I think I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm, not, I'm not part of the board to yeah. tell me who, who is supposed to be there, who is supposed, uh, to, be there. supposed to be there. But I just want to know who, just with all the nominees, who do you think you wish you could pick up the award? Uh, we have Kiddy. We have Stone, Boy Stone Boy wouldn't be bad. Stone Boy wouldn't be bad. Stone Boy has worked throughout the year also. All right. Bim, like, bim, bim, yeah. bim, bim, bim so to the world. Yeah. So Rasta is shooting for Rasta. Rasta say make Rasta win, of course. Bim Nation! Bim Nation, of yeah, course. Yeah. You are still watching Underground Voices. And I want to pick his last words before we leave here. What are your last words for your fans, family, friends? And as you said, your girlfriend, your guys yeah, at home yeah. and everybody. What do you have to say to them? Yeah. What I'll, should they expect I'll, and everything? I'll keep it simple. Life has a way of unfolding things every day, so I don't know what really tomorrow brings to us. Exactly. But we'll keep, I'll keep doing my best, and the social remember me in prayers, mm -hmm. and they should keep streaming my music and pushing okay. it, share it wherever they get the platform mm -hmm. to, and also have a word of prayer for me in any time they know. Okay. And God willing, everything will be well. All right. And those, all those looking up to us, big them, they are our motivation. They are the okay. reason why we are still fighting now. So we thank them for being there for us. All this definitely. Yeah. You heard Jason saying we should pray for him, we should support him. Please, make sure we stream his music. Make sure we, we, we download. That when you go get something small, then buy, do, do nice videos, buy nice shadows, then do all the big things you want to see him do. 
exactly. Thank you so much for coming, Jason. All right, thank you. I really, really appreciate your time. Oh, you say what? Corona will go feel great. Corona will go. All right, all right. Once again, thank you so much for coming, and thank you so much also for taking time off to watch the show. Um, um, see you same time next week. Big, big thanks going out to my sponsors. Big thanks going out to my sponsors. You can follow me and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter at Underground Voices. If you missed out on any of the interviews too, if you watch them on our YouTube channel, big shout out going out to my mom, big shout out going out to Reverend MC SD Quay, biggest shout out going out to Little and me that they call him Lee. Catch you same time right here on CJ TV. My name is Manchekumi Royal Highness. Peace out.